Don't worry, my precious ones. Sammy the Brave will protect you. Hey, Sammy. Ah! <laughs> What's with all the mess here? I woke up today being anxious, Susan. I feel like my stationery might be stolen. <laughs> By whom? The pencil thieves? That's not funny at all. My slime instinct never fails me. Okay, okay. Why don't you just hide everything in the organizers then? We've already made a whole bunch. Oh, why can't you understand? That's the most obvious place where those burglars will look for them. Hmm, then we can make a fake organizer, which at first glance will have nothing to do with stationery. Let's go. Hi, guys. I hope you're in the mood for yet another awesome cardboard craft. So, is this gonna look like an alligator's head with sharp, scary teeth? Or we will make it in the shape of, uh, a car, which will drive away the burglars really fast? Oh, sweet sugar. Sammy, I can't stop being amazed by your vivid imagination. <gasps> I know. We'll make our organizer in a form of a nice armor suit, like the ones they have in castles. What are you talking about? This shiny paper strip, my lady. Sorry, Sammy, but you're as far from the right guess as possible. Guys, always work carefully with the glue. Then I don't see how today's organizer is going to differ from the ones that we've already made. Keep guessing, Sammy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, nice color. And the backside of our organizer is in its place. Aha! Uh -huh. If it has a backside, it might also have some other sides. Very well. Only these pieces need a slight adjustment. That's more like it. We need one more piece like this. Hmm. So far, it looks like she's making a box or something. Let's take a closer look. Yep, I was right. I mean, Sherlock Slimes was right. <laughs> Maybe Sir Slimes already knows what this is gonna be? A true detective always has mini versions. Is this going to be a mini house for pins and pencils? <laughs> nope, but there will be a door with a window. Fine, Sue, I give up. I have no ideas left. Please, tell me what are you making? Okay, but first, let me remind the guys to be careful with the glue gun. Now this piece goes right here. Hmm, interesting. Some kind of shelf, huh? We'll make a few shelves and drawers in this organizer in the shape of a microwave oven. What? It's mind-blowing! Am I right, guys? Give a thumbs up if you agree! That's why you've made the silver edges to all those pieces! Yup. To make the whole thing look even more like a home appliance. But we can still make it look bright enough, right? <laughs> sure. Yippee! The world's greatest decorator, Samuel, already knows what to do! I just hope that he won't get too carried away. In the meantime, guys, let's make one more shiny edge. Susan, don't forget to add some vibrant color to that piece! Way ahead of you, Sammy! See for yourself! And I never forget to be careful with the glue gun, guys! You can also trust an adult with this job, people! By the way, Sammy, did you come up with something interesting for the craft? I'll tell you about it in a minute, Susie! In a minute! All right, and this one? Uh-huh! What's that? Hey, I didn't finish yet! Um, and what is this? Hello! It's gonna be the door for our microwave oven! But it's kind of too small for our craft. You took the measurements wrong. What? But I tried so hard! Oh, why does this always happen to me? I shouldn't have rushed! I know what to do! Really? I have a magic growth potion! Check this out! A bit of this, just a few drops, and... Now we're talking! Wow, Sue, you're a genius! But what about the middle part? For that, I know another great trick. Er, uh, what's going on? Come on! Finally, it worked! I know what you need! Here, take this, Susie! We're gonna touch that opening up to get something like this! It should look awesome! Wow, that's very ambitious, Sammy! <laughs> okay, I'll try to do my best. Let's get started! Guys, you are gonna need a lot of patience at this stage. You don't say. 
But if you want your craft to look perfect, trust me, it's worth it. A true crafter knows how to make simple things look pretty. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Sorry, Sammy, I couldn't resist. Anyway, something's missing. I know! Every microwave oven has glass in its door! We can make one from... from... Oh, this might work! Actually, I already kind of dealt with it. Sammy? <laughs> Stand still! I'll take it off! Ugh, thanks, Susie! How on earth did you manage to get tangled in this? That's a mystery for me as well! It's like one second I only think about grabbing something, and in the next second, BAM! I get stuck! Well then, let's hide that nasty silver strip. And it won't hurt you again. Don't forget about the holder that will actually hold that door! <laughs> How could I? Oh, you even reinforced it with the double-sided tape. Well done! Guys, this will be the last stage with that door. Here we go. Check this out. It opens and closes. Do you want to find out what else I came up with? Then stay tuned, people! All right, Sammy. Let's deal with the other compartments. And I have already prepared everything, Sue! Wow, great! Now, guys, I'm gonna show you one new magic trick that I've recently mastered. Well, what do you say? Cool drawer, huh? Shiver me cheddars! How did you know this was the color I had in mind? We've been crafting together long enough for me to know that one for sure. Oh yeah? In that case, you will easily guess how I made this! Uh-huh, this construction is made of cardboard and some colored paper. And apparently it goes right here, as well as this piece. Hmm, Susie, doesn't that place seem a bit too simple to you? What exactly are you talking about? There should be a way to make it look more microwave oven-y! And I'm gonna find it! <laughs> Good luck with that! In the meantime, guys… Check this out! Oh, I was afraid this day would come! What day? The day when Samuel the Great will be out of decor ideas! I couldn't come up with anything! Don't worry, Hill Tibidaba, I've got you! Whoa, what are these, Sue? So many colors! These are gonna save you, Samuel the Great, from an epic decor failure! I'd like to see that! All we need is to put everything together, starting with yellow. Wow, Sammy, you did the rest! Yup, and note that the inside of the drawers match with their handles and color! You're right! Wow, Sue! Our craft really looks like a microwave oven now! Almost! We just need to come up with something for this space! Wait, wait, wait! I think I have a perfect idea! Just give me a sec! Are you ready? Now that's what I call teamwork! We're at the finish line, guys! Stay tuned! This way the craft looks neater, right, guys? Oh, my favorite part of this craft is about to begin! Did we miss it, Susie? Where did the pencils go? <laughs> You're right in time! Hup. This little ring made of foam paper will hold a pen or pencil. Very handy. I know a perfect candidate for that place, Sue! Here, take this one! All right! Here we go! Excellent! And this won't let the pin get lost! We'll just glue it over here! Susie, could you hurry up, please? Hey, stop pushing me! Our stationery is quite impatient! Okay, I'll try to wrap it up then! Guys, don't forget that you can get creative and make your microwave oven organizer look just the way you want! Sue's right! And you can fill up these drawers with something tasty as well! <laughs> Aw, somebody got hungry! Yeah… After such a cool craft, I wouldn't mind a cup of hot chocolate! <laughs> Oops! These handles look just like the microwave oven buttons! <laughs> Here. They fit in perfectly right here. Check this out. And close. Well, Sammy, I guess we're done. Actually, I have a couple more decor ideas. 
Give me a sec to do them off camera, and then you'll check out our organizer! Okay, let's see. Sam. And Heart! Sweet! I hope Sammy will enjoy this organizer for a long time. Ugh, Susie, we've got so many stationary items left. Why don't we make another organizer in the form of a fridge? No way! Or a washing machine? <laughs> Guys, I better go before Sammy comes up with another crazy idea. Bye-bye, everyone! <gasps> An organizer in the form of a TV set! Genius! Hey, Sue, wait up! <laughs> What's this? It's a Mini Maker postcard. Let's see what we've been sent today. My name is EQ95, and I made this toy rocket chip. First I painted the tube, then I stuck the cone on, then I stuck the red and grey and yellow paper into the lid. Three, two, one. Hello, I'm Neve and this is Rocky. First, I took a pebble from my mum's pot plant and then I took cotton wool from her bathroom. And then I went to the shop and bought googly eyes and pipe cleaners. And I stuck them on. Rocky is my pet rock. I hope you like him. Oh, what fantastic ideas. Why don't you try one of them at home? <laughs> oh, excuse me. The maker phone's ringing. Oh, some mini makers are calling. Hello, I'm Lisa from the UK and these are all my friends. Hello, mini makers. Can you help us make a picture? Oh, I'd love to. I'll be with you for a high five in five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. We're in the UK. I made it. I told you I would. Right, let's get some high fives. Now, what picture would you like to make? An arty picture. Now, what's going to be in our picture? Paints. Paint. Of course, we need lots of paint. And what different colours of paint will there be? Red and green and purple and yellow. Oh, lovely. What else do you think we should have? Dead pens. Crayons. Great ideas. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's make it together. We are making the pencils. This is a paint bottle. This is the paint box. And we'll need a really colourful background. Ah, uh, yes. We're feeling very arty making our big picture. And that's just given me an idea. Why don't you make something too? Try making your own little art box. It looks great and it's incredibly useful. You will need a box and some card, paint and paint brushes, a ruler, stickers and a black pen, a glue stick and some sticky tape. First, take a long thin box and make sure one end is stuck down and the other end is left open. This is where you'll be able to store your pens and pencils. Give the box a coat of paint and leave it to dry. Next, take a piece of card and use a ruler to help you fold it like this. And then tape it to the box to make the lid.
Now use stickers to make different coloured paints on your art box palette. Then add some detail with a black pen. Lastly, stick an old paintbrush to your paint box like this. Your art box pencil case is finished and ready for all your pens and pencils. What an arty idea. Why don't you try it? But right now, let's get back to our big picture. <laughs> Well done, everyone! We made it together! Yeah! Wow! You can make a giant picture with that art set! We have had some amazing arty adventures today. And I... No, Scraps, we can't live over there. That's Buckingham Palace. Sorry, Scraps, it's just the maker phone. Oh, it's Toki, it's Toki. Time to go, time to go. Oh, all right, Toki, I'll be home soon. Well, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. <laughs> Nothing in this house is slime friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Life is suffering. Sammy, what happened? What happened? What happened? I can't believe you. Calm down, Drama King, and tell me what's the problem. Poor Sammy yelling. Name calling. Oh, Sammy, I'm sorry. Tell me. Every time I want to draw, I have to go through all these troubles. Hmm. I think I know what we can do. Come with me. <laughs> hey, guys. Today, we'll be making a special storage space for Sam's art supplies. Oh, it sounds wonderful. <laughs> if you know how to make a cool pencil case, leave a comment below. We'll make a video with whatever idea gets the most thumbs up. And for our pencil case, I'll need this cute and funny microfiber mop, a zipper, a hot glue gun, and scissors. Oh, I can't believe you! <sighs> what now? Why is it green? Because I like green. What about pink? And pink. Pink with green? Oh, you're just like a tulip with fur. <sighs> All right, the glue gun is ready and we can get started. I'll start with attaching the zipper. I'm going to do it from the inside, like this. Guys, remember, be very careful when working with a glue gun. The glue is really hot. Did you know there are actually furry tulips in the Tibidado? Maybe a beard, too? Fine, don't believe me, they do exist! Guys, if you believe me, give a thumbs up! What an ignorant madame! Let's put our pencil case together, just folding it like this. So it's convenient to work with its parts. And then glue, 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 glue! <laughs> nope. Now! No! <sighs> How about oh. now? The more you distract me, the slower I work. Ugh, whatever. I'll go get a candy from the Lego machine. Ha! Okay, now let's do the same on the other side. Get some glue on. Small beads, like these. Not too much. And stick it together. <laughs> so, there's no more candy! So? Give me a candy! I didn't hear the magic word. Oh, yeah. Then, uh, here is a magic invisible candy. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Something's missing here. Maybe eyes? Well, it's not a Muppet from Sesame Street. I want eyes! 
Ah, <sighs> okay, okay. Let's take a tennis table ball and cut it in half. Just like this. Always be very careful with scissors. <laughs> it doesn't really look like eyes. Well, I'll change that. Hmm. I'll get some hot glue on the edges here. Not too much, though. Hmm. And, yep, that should do the trick. And the other one. And stick them to the pencil case. <laughs> They're eyes. absolutely normal. Huh. I'll draw the pupils, and they'll look great. One here with a black marker. And another one right here. There. And... Ta-da! Oh, it's like it's smiling. Hey, Sammy, where are your art supplies? <laughs> We're running! We're running! <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Hey, Sammy, it looks awesome and also can be used as a dust mop. <sighs> Maybe you'll also use the queen's crown as a toothpick? Give it to me. <sighs> Guys, if you liked this pencil case, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Sam's channel. We have lots of ideas that we can't wait to share with you. Bye-bye! <laughs> give me a candy! What do you say? Give me a tasty candy. Nope. Hippity hop, quick like a bunny. No. Simsalabim, candy for Sam! No, Sam. Please and thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Don't mention uh. it.